If I could only pick one audio plugin in Adobe Premiere to work with, it would be the Heart Limiter. It stops the main audio from picking red, but it can also bring the level of your whole audio sequence up to a good healthy level. So when you sound design in Adobe Premiere like you can do with other sound packs, you can end up with multiple layers of audio that needs to be controlled. And here is a quick fix with the Heart Limiter. Step number one, place all of your audio files like you want and then adjust the volumes to your taste of each of them. Once you've got your nice balance, have a look at the main output audio meter. Make sure the audio is picking at around minus nine, maybe going to up to minus three, but it's not picking to zero. If it does, lower the volume of some of the audio files. Then go to the window and choose audio track mixer. Then if you don't see those slots here, it means you need to click on that little arrow here to show the slots. Go all the way to the right to find your main output slots and choose the heart limiter. Then double click on it and increase the input boost a bit. Then replay your sequence at the loudest moment of your timeline and see how that affects your main output meter. It should be picking now up to around minus three, maybe almost hitting the zero. I'm going to increase it a little bit more and test it again at the loudest moment of my sequence. I can turn it a little bit more. Okay, it is now picking at almost zero dB, but the heart limiter will not let the audio to actually get distorted because it's keeping it under, so it won't clip red. But also, we have now increased the volume, so our whole sequence is actually nice and loud to a acceptable standard. So I hope this helps, thanks. So if you wanna learn about working with sounds in Adobe Premiere and other software, and you wanna be up to date with our sound designing packs, then consider subscribing. Thanks. Thanks.